On October 16th, the Alzheimer's Association held a walk in Cambridge. We had over 5,000 people participate, and we've raised over $940,000 so far, and the money is still coming in. According to Maloney, donations will go toward advancing research into methods of preventing, treating, and curing the disease, as well as support groups and educational programs. It wasn't only an opportunity to support those living with Alzheimer's. It was an opportunity to remember those we've lost. Um, if you see our promise garden with all the flowers over there, each one of those flowers was planted by someone who is here today in honor of someone. Cambridge resident Joyce Majewski planted a flower in honor of her late mother, Roberta, who suffered from Alzheimer's for 15 years. When it started, she was a very vibrant person and um, very dynamic and everything, but the memory loss was very unsettling and it began as short-term memory loss. Amanda DeSena, who works as a clinical research nurse practitioner at Massachusetts General Hospital, would also like to bring attention to caregivers. You know, we're here to, to let caregivers know as well that there are a lot of resources out there um, to offer support. The Greater Boston Walk ranked number six out of the Alzheimer's Association's nationwide top 30 walks in last year. This event continues to call on participants of all ages and abilities to join the fight against the disease. Reporting from Cambridge, I'm Yuning Wang for BUTV10.